Yeah, Got you a present. Oh, thank you very much. Hi right, guys, welcome to episode 11. <laughs> yeah, yeah boy! Now, after uh, last episode's fun putting wheels on track for the first time, Mark and I have decided to do a little bit of planning to figure out how best to put the rollers in. We've got some sketches. I'm going to expand on them today for you guys. Then we're going to jump outside with some spray paint and mark it out. Ramsey's the design guy. I'm just going to watch probably and go draw this. Mm. I can't draw. He's, he's, a, he's a pumping consultant. <laughs> uh, not a pump specialist, sorry. So, in the, in the big bowl on the left, we've got a lovely big shape that comes around like that. And it then connects into the far away bowl over that's round here. And we've basically got a straight across here and a straight across here. At the back we have a few trees in that corner. We've got the, the observation station just here. Spectation station. Oh, the spectation a... station. It's called the spectation station. Well, did you get any comments? That's in episode 10 that hasn't gone out yet. So. Oh, right. <laughs> and this is where the bush is. The flamey bush. Uh, we've got the drain in the middle, and the drain here. And everything else is a blank canvas. From our sketches so far, we reckon that there's going to be three high points on the rollers. One on the way out of the bowl, one in the middle of the straight, and one on the way into the back bear. Which means it's probably going to flow a high point around here. I'm going to have like a love heart shape in there because that's going to provide the turning for this area here, which means the high point is going to be across here. Mm -hmm. Then as it rolls down, we're going to have another high point in the middle here and a high point on the way on the berm, on the way into the berm here. There's two high points there though, isn't there? We're going to have a little double on the end of this street here. So that's two high points. So there's basically a dip there a dip there, a little dip there, and a big dip there. And a float well, into it. This one, this more your burn is that way. Yeah, that, so the, the love heart shape is yeah, getting so your, curves on it your, like that. Yeah. The back straight, it's more or less the same, except we're going to change and have a little double here. So there's that high point. That way ever so slightly, and then there. So this, this is a low point. And that means that this has to gradually <laughs> slope from that down. That's yep. quite a... But I think, I think that would be good. Yep, I agree. Because everything else is quite boop, boop, boop. Quite boop, boop, boop. And we've got a big long one into this. So right. the high point is... Probably about here. <coughs> yeah, if that's your high point, your low point is going to be in the corner, so... In the middle here? Yeah. I was going to do something. Yeah, so that creates a bit of a, a problem for us at the back because it means that there is then three and four high points around that spot there. So we're going to have to drain it. We're going to have to put a drain in at that point there that will then drain through the love heart shape and out the low point of the berm and drain out of here. The other problem point of this little underground drain here is going to be drained into that drain there. And I'm going to get another colour to demonstrate. Colour coded markers now. And I'm going to mark in the danger spots of the low point here. Uh, and this drain here. And the green is going to indicate the drain hole and the, the root of the drains. We've got one from here. And that should cover us because that's a low point here, we'll mark that there, a low point here, a little low point there, uh, this is obviously a low point, this is obviously a low point, there is a low point here as well. But it's going to drain, it's going to, anything that doesn't go in that drain is going to naturally go that way because that's low anyway. That's true, so let's put in a green marker from, from this one across to this side and out here and it, it then joins in. 
There is a wee channel there as well. Hopefully, either that way or that way. The joys of living on a sloped hill. Not every hill sloped, never mind that. <laughs> <laughs> Not every hill sloped. Oh, there we go, we've got some, some spectators. Spectation station 2.0. Sun is out. Here, our, our visitors are here. Hi guys. These guys have come to check it out. They've been our biggest fans so far. Keeping up with progress and all the encouragement is great. Cheers, guys. Cheers. I did some jumps. Did you? Yeah. Oh yeah. Did you love that video? I did. <laughs> I, I saw you guys on the videos as well. Distance socialising is over. Let's get the spray paint out. Cool. So we have the track layout and last night in preparation for today we actually did a little bit of scoping out in the pitch black in the pitch black yeah which uh, we'll need to probably reassess just to for accuracy it's visible it's, we're using pink for high points get out as a as an area yeah that's that's the top of the roller Right hand turning berm is going to be approximately here. Coming round here, it's more going to be catching it there. Like if you try and get into that, it's going to be too hard, so it's more. Aye, that's better. Green low point. Aye. Because that is like drainage at the same time. The sticks will do for the high points just now, but I will put some pink in underneath just to keep it visible. As that long as we clear that, that this drain here, a little yucky little pipe yeah. that even in this dry weather is quite wet so we're going to make sure that we put a pipe on that and drain it all the way out to the drain over there come up high point yep come up then you'll manual Probably a bit there, I think. That's yeah, a, a bike length apart, yeah. Pretty much, it's a decent weed gap. Come on, lift up, pull out, manual that, front wheel down, and dip down, and then you're going back up there. Yeah. Yep. Because yeah. well, it's quite a long one as well. Yeah. This is kind of almost like an area of adjustability. Oh, it works well good paint on paint. <laughs> hey, double, if you're doubling it, you want to catch it. Yeah. Catch the top of it here. Hit that, then you're going to have another wee roller that. Yeah. Yeah. And about another foot back. Yeah. Nice. Mark in our radius because originally started as three meters. Yeah, we're going to remark it if I can get this rope one done uh, with the spray paint so that we can see what we need to sort of shape towards. Okay, we've got the the other radius line in now in the middle, and we're going to mark around the top for the optimal ride line. Hopefully, Mark's got the green paint. We've set it up, and away we go.
I feel like we should maybe build that bit with the quite loose dirt purely because it will dry faster. Yeah. The clay holds the water. Rather than soggy clay. This bit doesn't really get the sunshine either because the sun comes up over in that direction and comes round here so this ends up staying in shadow for most of the day. All right, nice one. Well, I think we've marked it out well now. Yeah. Mark's going to scoot off and get on with his training plan. Gains. Gains. Now that that's marked out, I've got a few things that I could get on with, like digging in some of the drains, which I am going to do now. I'll catch you in the next Szechuan. That was a bit of a mess. We'll, we'll, go, we'll go again. I'm going to get stuck in here and I'll show you guys what I'm going to do next. Probably drain this set middle section here because it's going to be the lowest point of the track and I also need to put a pipe in here from that puddle over in that corner at the spectation station and uh, drain the, the pipe right out to the low point at the front here. Um, I've just exposed the pipe a little bit more here and I'm going to get some of the plastic piping, attach it to the face and get it to drain down that way, straight into that one. Plastic pieces are up here. Come with me, you oh sneaky one. So now we've got the paint markers in place. This is a high point, and this is a high point. That means that hopefully it's going to be around here, and I'll be able to bury the pipe under the roller. Oh, look at that, perfect fit. I'm just going to dig this channel down here a little bit to make sure that it's flowing down all the way from that pipe. Hopefully you can see now, we've got the pipe attached at that end. Dug a little channel for it down here that's going to flow down towards the main drain. And then I'm just going to kind of pin it in place with some big stones and start filling around it. That'll give us the shape for the two high points, the two rollers that are coming on the exit of the bell. I think that's that one done for now. Well protected. Need to fill in this area a bit to get the rollers in there. The next port of call is to dig in the next drains. Now, at this end of the track, where the wall is, we have two high points here. We're going to have the double here, which is a pink high point and the pink high point. And that means that there's going to be a basin there, which we need to drain from here. And I was originally thinking of going back out to the front of the track there which would create a new drain hole but actually this is still quite a high area and if I dig it down just a little bit I'll be able to make a channel that goes all the way to the existing drain over there. <laughs> get a pile of rubble from down the side where it's been stacked up and stored ready to build the rollers uh, and I'm going to use that to protect the drain and drains and bury it. That's the drain all protected now so I think I'm going to cover it over. Changed my mind. This one is going to drain from that point straight out there. Here comes the mattock. <laughs> oh, 
Okay guys, last job for today is I think I'm going to take some of these bricks and place them in the middle over here. Let's do it from this angle so you can see the pile of bricks get smaller as a new pile of bricks gets bigger. Pretty neat. And uh, there's some bricks left here, and I think I'm going to use those ones for these two rollers here because I reckon they're probably the most likely to be adjusted in the future. Being able to dismantle it with the bricks underneath and just move them a foot or so each way might be quite an advantage. So, last of the bricks piled in there, which is good because it's not very far. Okay guys, I think that calls the end of the video. All finished for the day, for the session. That was quite a productive day though. It was good to get the markings done, start laying out a bit of the contours for the rollers. I'm like well stoked to get riding on this soon, very very soon. Just a bit more digging and moving to go. If you guys enjoyed the video, give us a wee thumbs up like, subscribe over there, and if you wanna watch some more videos, check them out up there. Leave us a wee comment below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheerio!